We are given a semi infinite wire. It starts here at a distance d from a conducting plate and extends to infinity. The surface, the linear charge density is given as lambda. We need to find the surface density on this plate at the point in the center and in general. So let's find the general first and there if we put the value of r is equal to 0 we will get the answer for the surface charge density at O. So to calculate surface charge density so we have to consider the another wire here so by image method it will be minus lambda and otherwise dimensionally it will be exactly opposite. So because of this wire you will have a E perpendicular and E parallel and because of this wire you will have a E perpendicular inside and E parallel downwards. So you can see that E perpendicular because of both the planes will get cancelled out and you will eventually have 2 times E parallel. That we are going to equate with the field in just in vicinity of a conductor which is sigma r by epsilon. So this 2E parallel is field due to lambda and minus lambda and sigma r by epsilon is field due to lambda and charge on the conducting plate. So, net, so always remember the sigma r by epsilon is the net electric field in front of a conductor. So not because of conductor only because of the all the electric fields that exist. Combine them together and in just in front of the conductor it is always sigma r by epsilon. Now so we saw that E perpendicular will cancel out of these two charges and E parallel will remain and that value will be K lambda by R cos theta minus cos pi by 2. So this result we have done before proof we have a we have proved it before that if you have a finite or doesn't matter even infinite wire and, and if it's substanding theta 1 and theta 2 at the center then E parallel is K lambda by R cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2. So in this case we are going away so this will become cos of minus theta 1 but that is also cos of minus theta 1 is cos of theta 1 so we can just write it as cos theta minus cos of pi by 2 so as theta as we are going to the infinite this theta will increase and it will become eventually pi by 2. So now we can put this value e parallel into our equation main equation. So sigma r is 2 epsilon e parallel so if you put the value of e parallel here you will get your answer and in this answer if you put r is equal to 0 you will get sigma at the center of the symmetric position of this wire on the plate will be 1 by 2 pi d which looks dimensionally incorrect so if you put r 0 yeah we should have lambda also here. Yeah, 